everyone, Mr. Gray through IS here, and today we got a cool OEM Plus installation. <laughs> yes, another one. Uh, this one, again, is going to be on the interior, uh, so let's head on in. All right, so our last OEM Plus modification um, was these paddle shifters. They are from the RCF, LC, GSF, um, those models, um, and they have been amazing. Um, yeah, this is like a three week update. Um, definitely bigger, definitely clickier, and they are just, the aluminum is so, it's so fun. It gets hot when it's hot, it gets cold when it's cold, I love it. Um, I found myself using them more now that I have these ones, because uh, they're fun to use. Um, so today's modification, uh, OEM Plus, like I said, is another OEM part from the RCF, LC, GSF. Um, and as you can see, it's the switch push to start. Um, so people also call this the premium, um, slide it out here, premium start button. Um, this is what it looks like. It's uh, aluminum, just like these paddle shifters. Um, nice and clicky and it is a full replacement uh, from the original uh, so here is a quick comparison on how they look yeah uh, this one is convex while this one is concave um, I think I got that correct um, but as you can see this one has a little bit of a different trim around it and it just overall looks a lot a lot nicer um, so let's get into how you get this one out and get this one in so step one is going to be grabbing this um, over your gauge cluster little hood uh, and pulling it so you evidently just get two finger or two hands behind there and you pull it back and out uh, it might be easiest to grab it from like back here so uh, I'll show you in just a moment how that looks. <laughs> okay, so fair warning, it's gonna take a little bit of tugging, but as you can see up here, it's starting to come out. So you just kind of grab it from back here and pull towards you. So um, it pops out here, pops more out here. And um, this entire, from like here all the way around is gonna pop out also to have this come out easier it might help if you pop this down you literally just grab it and pull and then same with this side let's see if I can actually do it on camera just grab it and okay and just like that it pops straight out there's a clip here and then this just feeds into there but it's now hanging down on either side um, and it should make this come out a little bit easier let's see if I can show you there we go there we go okay so this entire assembly is loose um, and that gives you great access to uh, right behind here oh perfect this is actually exactly what I need to show you so this right here <laughs> um, where is it ah, right here this is what we're taking out um, and uh, to visualize what you need to unclip to pull out, let me show you the new piece. So right now how this is sitting is kind of downwards like this. And what you're going to need to unclip is one clip here and one clip here. So top and bottom, you're just gonna squeeze it. But first you wanna undo this plug and you're just going to uh, push it and slide it out. It'll come out pretty easily. And then you can squeeze these clips and slide the old button out. So on this clip, you just squeeze this part right here and slide it straight out. And then you can go ahead and uh, squeeze those uh, little clips I was telling you about before and squeeze and then push. And once you push it, it should <laughs> pop out onto the floor like that. But yeah, it should pop out. And now you have your old one out. And you just reverse the process to put your new one back in. So here they are side by side if you want a little comparison. Sorry if I seem shaky. I had my coffee this morning. That's how they look. 
Uh, this one's definitely premium. <laughs> so pop your new one in. That's very satisfying. <laughs> Plug your clip back in. That's also satisfying. <laughs> And then just uh, go ahead and slide this assembly right back on. You can see where uh, you had to pull off. There were one, two, three, four, five, uh, six <laughs> little spots that pulled out from. So yeah, that's what you're yanking off. Um, and yeah, like I said before, it's going to be a little bit of a tug if this hasn't ever came off since the car is assembled. Oh yeah, just like that, <laughs> like you're cracking a back. There we go, and that's all in. You can check up here, seamless. Give it a little tug, it's in there. There we go, that's looking nice. So yeah, and you just go ahead and uh, push these back up on either side. Oh, oh, there you go, that's one. <laughs> and yeah, just do the same thing to the other one and you're complete. And just like that, the install is complete. Out with the old, in with the new, and wow, wow, wow. It looks amazing. Uh, it definitely livens up the uh, quality look of the interior. Um, feels awesome. Super clicky. Um, beep, beep. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it goes really well with these paddle shifters and um, with this silver on the L Lexus logo. I think it's a very, very good upgrade. Um, Per usual, I for my OEM parts, I got this from It's Ray's RCF on Instagram. Um, he has great prices, very friendly guy. Um, I will link him in the description. Um, yeah, feel free to hit him up and uh, ask him for any of these. Uh, he has paddles, uh, this button. Um, he also has, which you guys will have already seen at this point, uh, he has the fender flares, the RCF fender flares. Very nice. Um, yeah, he has a lot of OEM uh, parts for the IS that are from the RCF, and he also has pretty much any OEM part you need or want. Uh, so hit him up. Um, yeah, and th that has been the install. It's, it's that easy. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments at all, put them right in the comments. Um, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm trying to uh, build this DRIS community up um, just like a couple other YouTubers. And um, yeah, we want to make a good community out of our 3IS uh, people. Um, so hit me up on Instagram at gray3is. And um, I'm always on there. I'm always on YouTube as well. So feel free to hit me up. If you have any questions, you just want to talk, I'm totally down for anything. You know, it's a good community we have out here. Um, thank you all for your support. Um, thank you for everything you do. Uh, we have gained such a following in such a short amount of time, um, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, this has been Mr. Gray through IS, and I'll see you all in the next one.